Church. Today, we want to talk to you about love. You know what, Lucy? I gave Pastor a big hug when I saw him last time. Well, hello there, Lucy and Judah. Hi. How are you today? Good. Good. When I was playing hide and seek. That sounds like fun. I was just about to tell our viewers about love. Do you want to help me? I'd love to. I love to too. All right. Well, first thing I want you to do is close your eyes. Now think about the sky. What color is it? Blue. Yes. Great job. Now what color is a storm? I think gray. Awesome. Now you can open your eyes. I wonder, what colors do you see when you think about love? Why do you think about red when you think about love? It's because you have red heart in you. Yeah. And what color do you think about when you think about patience? Purple. Well, that's fun. You know, yesterday, Amelia and I had some craft time, and we made these fun dancing sticks with a dowel and some rainbow color ribbon. No matter what color you think of for, uh, for love, patience, kindness, hope, trust, or even protection, we can use these dancing sticks to re help us remember that God's love is with us and love is part of kindness, hope, trust, patience, and many other places. So I'm going to read a story that talks about all of this. Do you want to dance with these sticks while I read the story? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right! Woo. <coughs> one for Lucy, one for Judah. So our story today is from the Spark Bible on page 546. Paul's friends in Corinth had lots of good ideas, but sometimes they forgot what was most important. Love. Paul wanted to help them remember. Paul said, if I use words that everyone understands, but I don't have love, I'm just a clanging bell or a booming drum making noise. If I teach people about God, know what will happen tomorrow, know everything there is to know, and can figure out the mysteries of the world, but I don't know about love. None of the other things I know matters. If I sell everything I have and give money to the poor, but don't have love, I have nothing, nothing at all. Love is easygoing and kind. It never wants what it can't have. It doesn't brag. It is not rude. It is not selfish. It doesn't get angry and it always forgives. Love is happy with the truth. Love always protects, trusts, and hopes. Love doesn't give up. It never fails. All the things we know and all the things we have will go away someday, but God's love will never go away. Every day we grow older, we learn more and more Today, we only know a tiny bit about God's love, but someday we will know all there is to know about it. Paul ended his letter by telling the people in Corinth that love is the most important thing they have. Paul said, until the time you know everything about God's love, you have three things to remember, faith, hope, and love. The most important of these three things is love. You know, Judah and Lucy, you are great dancers. Thank Just you. like your dancing sticks <coughs> floating around, God's love is floating all around us when we dance. We need to remember that in the ways we treat each other. Well, it's time to say goodbye for now. Okay. Almost your bedtime. That's right. <laughs> all right. Bye. 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 Well, 
kids, have a great day. And we hope that we can see you all very soon. Bye.